Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. He's a Grammy-nominated gospel artist whose early hits were created in his college dorm room. Mm. Yes. And this gospel phenom stock continues to rise with a number one gospel album, Make Room, anchored by spiritual odes like this. Welcome, Jonathan McWinnell. Yeah. 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 Hello, sir. How are you? What's going on? What's going on? So nice yeah. to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Bitch, you look blessed, Sam. Come on down. Sit on down. Sit on down. Sit on down. Sit on down. I got the purple pillow. I got the purple. Wow. Hey, Jonathan. What's Hi, up? Jonathan. How you doing? We're excited to have you down to the circle. Oh, man, I'm excited to be here. Yeah. And you are yeah. from the south side of Chicago. We in here. Shine town <laughs> That's yeah. So, south side? What was it like growing up um, on the south side of Chicago, and how did that influence your gospel jush? Well, you know, well, you know what? I don't know. Chicago is arguably the hometown of gospel anyway. Yeah. So, I mean, choirs yeah, so, and all the other stuff, mm -hmm. They yeah, they just... They're always killing. The turn up. I was the organist for a long time. I never planned mm, on singing at what? all. What? At all. Like, it's, this is weird for me. Really? So actually, yeah. I didn't start singing until I figured out the girls liked it in high school. Oh, so, really? Yeah. <laughs> up until then, I was just, you know, playing the organ. I had to learn all the choir songs. So I'm sure that that factored in a little bit in how yeah, I think about music. Yeah, that is interesting. Yeah. Ain't that yeah. Man, I'm so glad you followed your heart yeah, I mean, <laughs> and your gifts. Man, I hated singing. Really? I mean, through temper tantrums. I mean, like, uh, don't make me do this. Really? Why wow. was it? Did you? What? What? Why? I don't know. I don't know. But you know what? I will say this. My mother, she told me if I don't start singing in church, it, she she was lying, but right. she said if if you don't start singing in church, your when your voice changes, uh -huh. you're gonna lose your ability to sing. Cause I was singing around, oh, the, you know. Wow. Right. So I I prayed that night, Lord, please don't change my voice. Yes. And it turned out he didn't, because right. it's still as high as it was it's when I was eight. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And it's we love it. That's what, that's what makes him unique. Yes. That's what makes you unique. It's beautiful. Let's talk Thank about you. that. And speaking of being unique, your first EP was created in your dorm room. Yeah. How were you able to kind of create in a space, college, mentally, like just morally and I mean, all of that? <laughs> well, I mean, college is weird. No, yes. No, yeah, but <laughs> all of that's in there. Yeah. Like, you know, if you listen to that first album, listen to the song, I mean, let's like, no gray, coming out, mm -hmm. no longer. It was all about basically the morning after. I mean, yes. I'm serious. You know, I can't lie. You know, right. so like, you know, college was definitely a time when the church boy had to figure out what it meant to be a church boy outside yes. of church. Uh -huh. And so, you know, everything that I've written about since has all been about, okay, okay, church was cool. That was easy. What about being a Christian when you leave? Yeah. Listen. And uh, it's tough, it's different, uh, but I think that we can live in power if we give it a chance. And yes. spe speaking of No Gray, which is my jam, I nice. love that song. Thank I listened you. to it like four times back to back, nice. getting my hair and makeup done. Oh. What is the, I, I love how you um, are an advocate for just average, regular people that love the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, trying to merge the two concepts of secular and gospel. What is your songwriting process like? Man, it's, it's, it's very, like, spontaneous. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, if I'm talking to you or, or praying or something like that, maybe I'll uh, get a, a, a line and I'll just throw it up in the air right. and see if that sounds right. And, yeah. um, you know, just begin to write about it. So all my songs are normally just prayers. They're normally conversations I have mm -hmm. with friends. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I just, you know, sit in the shower or on the toilet. And, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you about that shower. I, you know, hey, shower, shower good. something else. But you, the, the hey, don't, don't sleep on the toilet. <laughs> Don't sleep on the toilet songs. I'm right, you're in a good position. Your you diet. You still, mm -hmm. and you ain't thinking about nothing. Right, yeah, that's a good place. Right, good inspiration yeah. happens right. right. On the I throne. send a lot of emails huh? on the toilet, so, so I see what you're saying. <laughs> yep. So obviously, you created a lot of hits on the toilet for Make Room, <laughs> your number one gospel album. Yeah. Right? So how was the uh, process different? So you gotta, uh, you gotta figure out which songs were the toilet songs and which songs were the shower, shower songs. songs. Are, are they better songs on the I toilet? I don't know. I'm just saying you gotta figure it out. You're like, I think he wrote this on the toilet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, so what was the process like for you, and how is this project different from your other ones? Well, you know, this is my first live record. Okay. okay. So, you know, all my other records, I was able to just kind of write and record as I was writing. Uh, sometimes didn't even finish writing the song before I started recording. Mm. This, for a live thing, you have to have everything done. Yes. Everything has to be thought out. 
And it's just amazing that what's on the record is my first time singing these wow, songs yeah. in front of people. Yeah. And uh, it's just, it was a crazy night, amazing, May 5th last year in Chicago. Man, we just turned center space out. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Well, you couldn't do a live album on the toilet. You can't. All right. But we got well, more with you. <laughs> you could. Well, yeah. you could. Well, that one wasn't done. But we got more with Jonathan Reynolds awesome. coming up next. <laughs> I know. I got two. We're back with gospel hit maker Jonathan McReynolds. Now, Jonathan, you are loved by not just us, mm -hmm. by, but by some very famous singers as well. Um, in referencing you, India Ari said, we need him on this planet. Wow. What void do you think that your gift is fulfilling in the gospel realm? I, I try to think of myself as like a window. So, mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes you can be in church so much that you don't have any clue what's going on outside mm -hmm. of it. And sometimes you can be outside of it and really not have a clue what's going on inside. Mm -hmm. And I really just kind of want to be that window that says, hey, guys, there's a lot of kingdom outside of church. Mm -hmm. And, hey, guys, there's a lot of amazing stuff going on in, in, in church. Mm -hmm. So please come on through. Yes, yeah, I love good. it. I love it. So right now we're going to play a game called the ABCs of Gospels. Ooh, and because scared. you two fun, fun, are so bold, both talented, melodically, you guys will do this. I will give you the actual song. Selena will start and then you will finish. Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Mary had a little lamb. Okay. <clears throat> Mimi. I could have. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. <clears throat> Mary had a little lamb. Today we call him Jesus. Yes! yes! I Hallelujah. like that. Hallelujah. Come on, Let's come go. on. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Okay. <clears throat> Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up, I don't even know if I know the words. Make your own words. Above the world so high, like a diamond, yes. like a diamond mm. in the sky. Twinkle. twinkle, twinkle, little star, how, how I, I wonder, wonder what you are. Come on, you get in there. Okay. 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 Let it go. Okay. <laughs> we have one more, but we gotta go. Oh, okay. Yes. Dang. All right. Thank you so much. But you got in, in there, though. I got, got in, in there. there. She, in she there. taught me the I'm bottom line. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sister. Yeah. Thank you so much. Jonathan's amazing new album, Make Room, is in stores and online. <laughs> and the conversation always continues online at SisterCircleTV.com and all social media platforms we got. Jonathan.